Cocky cops are a menace to society, but what happens when they meet people who won't cower in the face of their tyranny? Here are four times when cocky cops messed with the wrong person. Hey, sir, you do me a favor, step to the front of my uniform. Do me a favor, stand in front of me, unit, please. Uh, I can stand where I want. You can tell me what you pulled me over for. Okay, so for my safety, I want you to stay in front of my unit. And for auditor safety, I would like for you to tell me why you stopped me. So I will, Who are you? I, I will in just Who a second. Hey, man, stand in front of my unit. I could stand where I want, dude. Not what on my traffic problem? stop. Not on my traffic stop. What do you want? What did you pull me over Do me for? a favor. You can put the cell phone down. No, I can hold my cell phone. When it interferes with a... a it, it's not interfering. Recording... Turner versus Driver says it is not interfering. Louisiana, Texas, and Mississippi, as Turner versus Driver, have every right to film y'all. What did you pull me over for? So the reason why I stopped, I noticed you were veering back and forth. Oh, don't give me that. It's all on dash cam. So do you want, don't me, to give me, that. It's all do you on want me to tell you? Or are you going to let me explain, or are you going to keep bumping your gun? I'm going to keep bumping my guns because I have every right to You got your ID on you? What do I need to get my ID for? What law did I break? Improper, what law did I break? Improper lanes. In proper lanes, I was in my lane. I got dash cam to prove it. I never broke line either side. You don't have to break line. What do you mean I don't have to break line? I didn't. Statue do, I didn't says anything. veering back and forth. It's in proper veering lanes. Back, I was not veering back and forth. This is Officer DeBoard of the Denham Springs Police Department. On October 7th, 2023, he stopped Mr. Tullos, who runs a YouTube channel called Truth Be Told Audits, for veering in his lane. Watch how the situation unfolded. This ain't the courtroom. I see a driver's license. This is, this is not the courtroom? Nope. This is not the driver's license. So, 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 so you're pulling me over saying that what? I'm May drunk? I see your driver's license. You're saying that I'm drunk? I'm not. Are you okay. having a medical episode? Are you distracted? Are you tired? Have you been driving for a long time? I don't answer questions. How about that? Okay. Take a look at the driver's license, please. Okay. Who are you, Denim Strings? Who are you, Denim Strings? What's your name and badge number? I told you my name is Officer DeBoard, Denim Springs Police Department. Okay. And you're going to be one of the slow ones that just messed up. Now, what else do you want? What? I'm going to tell you something. I don't care what you got to say. If you say that again, I'm oh, going to take that as a threat. It's called freedom of speech. Officer Debord claimed that Tullos was swerving in his lane, which wasn't a crime so long as he didn't break into other lanes. The cops was clearly affronted by the auditor's boldness and was seeking out a way to put him in his place. I will, I will See, take you better that, learn the law. I will learn take law. that learn as a law. threat and act what? accordingly. How, how is it threat? I'm telling you. Look at this. What's your name? Actually, got any weapons on? I don't answer questions. And this is going to be an illegal search. Turn around, and face my unit. Really? Uh, you place your hands on top of your head and interlace your fingers. I am recording. You. Oh, oh, okay. You see this people? You see this people? You see this people? Now, spread your feet. Now it's an all for safety thing. You need to learn the law. So right now, I'm going to be quiet. Shut your mouth. Oh, you're messing up. Oh, I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. So I can conduct a lawful pat fist for weapons yes, for officer called, safety. It's called Terry versus And Ohio. I gave you three lawful commands and you sat there. You got one time. Yep, and you just messed up. Oh. I hear these people. A nice, interesting weapon. I don't have to I'm not question. asking you no question. You asked me about You got the words. right to remain silent. Use it. Be quiet. I don't have to use then use it. Put the phone down, man. You don't have to. Oh, I don't have to? No, you don't. Right. Statue doesn't state that. What is the statute stating? Put the phone down. Oh. We're gonna my ticket for, I guess, driving straight. Not only did Officer DeBoard pull over the auditor for no reason, he also conducted an illegal pat down and was shockingly rude throughout the ordeal. His partner, Officer Sanjay, however, would soon let him know what he was getting himself into. All right, thank you. Have y'all dealt with him before? I've dealt with him a couple times, see him. But I don't, I don't really, he don't really cause him any problems. Him and Payne get into it a lot. They really don't like uh, Walker PD that much. 
Well, up to you, Lord. Well, well, so I dealt with, with the cell phone thing when it interferes with the investigation. It just in general, we still allowed to report. Can't tell it all. Well, but within a certain distance of a law enforcement officer, they haven't conducted. proved that yet. They, they're trying to get that approved. I don't think it, it's in Louisiana. It must, it's in a different couple of states. I think Florida approved it first. But yeah, I approved here with the one I dealt with. Well, after I don't check on it. I'm gonna do that right now. Sergeant Payne picked up the visual. Sergeant Payne picked up the visual. Sergeant Payne picked up the visual. So here's the thing. <clears throat> so I don't have a dash cam. And now, is it gonna show him veering? Probably not. The way his dash cam is positioned, because I see it right here, mm -hmm. it's not going to show him there. It's not going to show. Yeah. It's up to you. You want to write them. If not, it is what it is. And then we got also discretion. You want to say it ain't worth the headache. Or if you want to just hit him with the ticket, you can see him bearing. If your word against us, we're going to go to court. Pull off. I'm going to cut you a break tonight. Okay? Give me a break tonight. I'm cut you a break. Oh, Can I give your driver's license back? Yeah, my license. Okay. Hold on. How do you pronounce your last name? I don't answer questions. How do you pronounce your last I don't name? Answer mm -hmm. Tulos? It's Greek. I'll give you that much. Well, I just want to be respectful. After reading up on the law in the patrol vehicle and finding out that his little story wouldn't hold up in court, Officer DeBoard had to give up on his agenda and let Tulos go without a ticket or citation. But if you think Officer DeBoard is an arrogant and ignorant tyrant, well, it's even worse when there's two of him. Just tell me what happened. No, you need to talk to him. I don't got nothing to say. Well, that's that's our job. So we get your I understand story. your job. Okay. Again, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Talk to him. He's the one that called you, not me. So you don't want to tell us what happened? I'm not going to. I don't want story. I don't have a story to tell. I don't tell stories. Okay. So, so I said go, that you cut him off. I, I did yeah. not cut nobody off. Okay. Again, ask him. It's we're in. A, I threw at McDonald's. It's not that goddamn serious. So, if Carrie, I, I mean, Carrie, if, that's understand. what I'm telling you. I can't and if, understand. If he wants to make a big deal out of nothing, that's on him. I'm not frustrated. Yeah. I don't have a problem. That's why I'm driving away. I didn't. Okay. Do you but, have your license on you? Yeah, but you don't need it. Uh, I, I, yeah, no, you don't. we absolutely do, no, sir. No, this is George Melendez, who got into an argument with another driver at a McDonald's drive-thru. The other person called the cops, but when the Roy City officers arrived, they only went up to harass Melendez. You got to mess up. You are involved in investigation? Nope. Well, go can... investigate. No, you don't. I didn't do nothing. I didn't commit sir, a crime. Absolutely. Negative. Yes, absolutely. That's a negative. Man. Hey, I my right. No te bajes. Hey. No te bajes. There is no investigation. Listen. Listen. No te bajes. Listen. I understand. I'll go to jail because you're going to violate my, my rights. I, yeah, you are. My first and my fourth amendment rights. You understand? Listen, listen. listen. Because he's trying to take me to jail over not identifying myself. Yes, you Is your body cam done? Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't see the red light on yours. Is it on? Okay. Make sure you got it because I will sue the out of you. Let me explain something. I will sue the you guys, you there is no crime committed. There is no crime committed. No, because there's no crime okay, committed. Well, do you, you understand? You, I, I, I don't understand. need to give you my idea. I didn't do nothing. There's no okay, crime committed. Yep, no problem, George. No problem. Really? Yep. We're gonna, we're Are you gonna serious? Just don't stop recording. Melendez was put in handcuffs for refusing to ID, which isn't a crime. He didn't stop fighting for his rights, however, and demanded that a sergeant be brought to the scene. We're going to get the reason for why he's being arrested. We're going to sue him. We're going to sue him. I need your supervisor. I need your supervisor. Don't stop recording. Hey, it's going to be tight. Can you I can't. Okay. Can you close double up? Get the supervisor right here. Don't stop recording. Yes, ma'am. You violated my rights. I'm going to sue you. Uh, what no, you, we just, what's your name and badge? No, sir. There's no we, crime for me. We just need the... We so just need is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? I don't listen, care. Listen, There's no investigation. Listen, your listen, investigation listen, starts there. Right. And what's your name and badge number for the for the record? Hey, it's Officer Carmen 757. Officer Bailey 757. Thank you. No, I'm not. Okay. I, want, I want your supervisor. I don't want to say a damn word to you guys. Okay. And I'm going to sue the city of Boy City. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. Actually, hold on. Wait, let me catch you Okay. Is it, it's a, it, and I don't, I don't condense, I don't uh, search the seizures, okay? So remember okay. that for the record. Okay. I'm you the shit out of you. I've been you waiting for this. I don't, I don't answer questions. Okay. You don't have anything on I don't answer questions. I don't down. answer questions. Okay. What part of that do you not understand? Okay. Well, you're not I'm going to sue the shit out of you guys. I've been waiting for this. I watch all these First Amendment videos, and this is what I've been waiting for. I got you. You guys are 
Okay, but you don't detain people in handcuffs. So, okay, because Perrin over there called you guys. I heard him see if he's got warrants. I, I, I avoided him, okay? This is not the answer. And then this guy right here, Mr. Bailey, demanding my ID for no crime. Investigation starts there. He would have told you the story that there was no crime committed. Why is he leaving? Right? He's so aggressive. Why is he in handcuffs? Okay. No, you don't. It's not not physically. Not physically. Not like this. Okay, you want me to put you in handcuffs of what you did to me? You argue. violated my rights. It's not arguing. Not when the sergeant arrived, he immediately set about taking Melendez out of the handcuffs and explaining why his officers were being ignorant. They hadn't even been able to answer when Melendez asked them if his crime was a felony or a misdemeanor. Shut the f up and get in okay. your car. You're dismissed. Uh, get me out of these handcuffs. Sir, get me out of these handcuffs, please. Okay. This is not this is not this is not right. Okay. I did nothing wrong. It was an argument, that's it. Well, why did he leave? What's your person? You don't well, need to know that. Like to be called? Good citizen. Okay, good citizen. Yes, sir. So here's the deal. There's um, no deal. Just explain to me, please. Get me out of these handcuffs. Okay. I don't want to be in handcuffs. We're not yeah, together, yeah. You're not gonna Crazy I'm not getting crazy, sir. Yeah, hello. I don't, I don't get crazy. I don't, I don't get crazy. This is crazy. What you did, you guys did to me. Okay. Look at it, in front of the whole world, in front of my family. You want me to do that to you guys? Stupid, man. Stupid, not professional people, man. What you guys dealing with, man? Yeah. And I need an incident number, please. And everybody's name that was involved, really? even that man, because I'm really? suing his ass too Everybody. for calling you guys. Look at that. Look at that. You guys recording that? Mm -hmm. Animals, I'm going to put you in torture cuffs. I need to hear the door too. Stupid ass. You're welcome. And you're leaving before I leave. I'll send her in there. You got to follow the law. Sure, there, there, sure. That was feelings That was feelings enforcement there, not law enforcement. Okay. You understand me? Uh, I it's no saying. disrespect to you or nobody else, but that's feelings enforcement. Okay. Because I don't give you my ID. I don't have to give you my ID. I commit no crime. That's why I asked her, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Go investigate with him and then determine sure. what happened, just like you just did, right? If they would have done that, we wouldn't be in this situation. So you guys just opened this kind of worms for the city of Royce City. Because you're going to put money in my pocket. I, I didn't want to do but you guys did this over a stupid ass drive through at a McDonald's. But I don't want to waste your time. And I appreciate it. You Thank have any you. Any other questions? No, sir. I, I got what I need right here. Actually, I need their, their numbers. Even though there is no information on whether Melendez eventually filed the lawsuit, it is obvious that he at least put the uneducated cops in their place and schooled them on the law. But if you think Melendez had it bad, you're about to meet someone who had it even worse. I couldn't help but notice you just sitting on the patio out there. What's that? I couldn't help but notice you're sitting on the patio behind this building. Yeah. Yeah, I just, and there's a sign for no trespassing, private property, here. that kind of thing. Yeah, I wasn't sure what you were doing, if you lived here or you worked here. Yeah, it I looks like you're working, doing I something, picking and stuff I, up. Okay, gotcha. What's the actual address then? 3333 Rappahoe. Okay, what unit are you in? I don't think I have to actually tell you that. Well, I'm just checking to make sure that you have a right to be here, that's well, all. I just told you I lived here. Okay. And I told you that I'm working as well. Okay. So in fact, live here. What do you, what do you need from me? If you have an ID with your address on it, that'd be great. I don't believe you, man. Well, we've had some stuff going on in this area. Yeah, I'm just I doing know. my job, just making sure you belong here. And if you do, then great, and I'll be on my way. Yeah. Okay. Is they, do you have anything with your address on it? Yo, look, man. Here, hey, follow, hey, why, hey, don't hey. You, why don't you follow just me, relax. and I'll just leave the building, dude. Hey, just chill out, man. This, dude, this is ridiculous. I'm just asking you if you have something with your address on it, then oh that that gosh. would help me. No, I don't. How am I okay. supposed to have something with my address? Well, on? a lot of people have a they driver's just carry license. Their, they just carry something with their address on it. Yeah, an ID. It's ridiculous, bro. Yeah. So, Mr. Atkinson, can I get your date of birth, please? This is Zaid Atkinson, a student at Naropa University, 
who was being a good citizen by picking up the trash around his apartment building when Officer John Smiley from the Boulder Police Department stopped him. Why? I just need to verify who you are, that you belong here, that you have a right to be here, okay? Are you kidding me, man? Can you have a seat, please? No, no. Mr. Atkinson? No. No, I'm not. I'm not. 290 Cook Club. Can you please have a seat? No. Put that down. Stop. Mr. Atkinson, right now you're obstructing a police officer, which is a jailable offense. I'm asking you one more time to sit down. I'm not doing anything wrong, and you're not going to arrest me. You're not going to do anything, because I live here, and I didn't do anything wrong. Last it out. Now. Why? Now. Do it now. Why? Why? I'm detaining you to investigate. For For investigate a what? trespass. I live here. I live here. You, you haven't confirmed that. Sit down. I'm a student. Sit down and I'm I'll confirm it. Anywhere. Sit down now. No. Sit down. No, I'm not sitting down. Then you're probably going to get tased in a second. Why? Because you have a weapon. Put that I, down. I have a weapon? Put it down and comply with my orders. That's not what you're doing, officer. Do it. Because I got dude. I could get lawyers and you have a you, camera on you. It's filming right now. You're an idiot. Have a Why seat, would you please. think that you could taste me? I'm freaking picking up trash on my property. If you've never thought that picking trash on your own property would be considered a crime, you're not alone. Rather than commend this man for being an upstanding citizen, Officer Smiley decided to treat him like a criminal instead. I need to confirm Which it. Is where I live. There's a sign. I'm not doing anything illegal, and you're not going to taste me, officer. So Sit how do down. you think about that? Sit down. How do you feel about that, sir? Sit down. How do you feel about now. that, sir? And get your freaking lieutenant here. All They're right? on the way. Yeah, good. Down. Object, I'm picking up trash. Put it down. You're, gonna you're shoot being me. detained. Your hand is on your weapon, and you're going to shoot me? That's what you're going to do, officer? 290, we're still behind 23. On his property for Subject picking up trash. That's what you're going to do, officer? Sit down, sir. Why don't you use your brain? I asked you use several your, times. Use your intelligence. Are you going to kill me? <laughs> several times me? I've your asked you. On your I yes, it is. I feel threatened gun. because you're not That's putting that down. Yes, it is. I have a, I'm picking up trash. Put it down. I I'm told you many times to put it down. And you're holding a gun. Put it down. And you're holding a gun. Sir, put it down. And you're holding a gun. How do you feel? Put it down, How sir. How do you feel, officer? How do you feel? You're holding put it down. a gun. How do you feel? Sit down on the ground like I've told feel? you many times or before. Or you're going to shoot me? Or you're going to shoot me, officer? If you use that weapon against me, a weapon. then I'm, yes, that I'm is a consideration. You. I'm my All business. you have to do is comply right now. Officer, you're going to shoot me. Just have a seat, you man. Me? All I want to do is figure this out with you. Officer Smiley kept following Atkinson around his apartment building while being aggressive and threatening him with arrest. As if that wasn't enough, he also invited seven other cops to make the situation even more terrifying for the innocent man. Have a seat. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Why do you all four of them look dude, all four The police are telling you to do something. Do it. You have a gun in your hand. Yes, I do, because you're not listening. You have a gun you in your You have a weapon. Drop the weapon. Drop it. I don't have a weapon. Drop it now. Focus on me. What are you doing? Focus on me. No, what do you mean? Focus on me. Drop it now. Just drop it. This is my property. We We're not going anywhere. You I need to drop here. it. We, I, I haven't here. confirmed that yet. I, I told you I'm investigating a trespass. You didn't give me your address. 2333. I live in room 304. That's the first time. I have a seat. Are threatening me on my property. I live here. Hey, listen. The first thing you need to do is drop property. that item. I'm picking up garbage from my door. I go to school here. Drop it. Just I drop it and sit. Here. Okay, just talk. Don't Tell me no what to do. You guys don't have action. a goddamn right to be doing this to me. Sit down. I'm a citizen of this country. Sit I down. I my taxes. I am a student. Just and all of you down. have weapons drawn. And I sit feel down. threatened. Sit down and drop that no. object. I will not sit down. I'm not sitting. You can sit. Hey, Zane. 
What? Okay, these, these nice people here told me that you are a resident. Oh, wow. Okay. So is what it, a that's surprise. That's what we were trying to find out, okay? What it's a just, surprise. I gave oh. him my ID, okay. and then he started, and he started taking down my information, telling me this, that, and the other thing. And then I walk away, and he pulls his taser out so on Zane, me. So, Zayd, I'm listening to you, and I just appreciate it you did so. Okay. So, Zayd, if, if you were willing to sit down, this would bring everything down a little bit, and we could start I, down. I, I, I do not feel comfortable sitting down around a bunch of murderers. Okay. So, Zayd... This guy was ready to kill me, sir. Okay, so, Zayd, um, once this, again, I'm Officer Parker. Oh, you're just going to ignore what I just said, though. No, I'm just trying to convince you. Go home, officer, right. and why don't you guys go find some real criminals instead of wasting my goddamn time? How about that? I live here. I think this is a joke. I live here. You were ready to shoot me down, and you didn't know a goddamn thing. You're wasting all our resources. I didn't even point my gun You're at you. are wasting all our resources. There's people out there actually committing crimes. Like, can I, can How I do tell you feel? something? Can How I tell you something? How do you feel? Feel? You're ready to jump out of your skin because you know you made a dumb mistake today. Can I tell you something? No. I don't want to hear it. Okay. I want you to get Why don't you property. talk to my partner? Then. I don't want to talk to any of right you. Right now, I need boys. you to sit down so we can figure it out. I want you guys to get off out. my property and stop wasting my time. That's not going to happen until I confirm who you are. Um, okay. All right. Yeah. So let's, uh, you got his uh, information in terms of his name and all that? I just have his name. Okay. Then uh, give him his uh, ID back jackass. and then we're out of here. Yeah. Because we already jackass. confirmed he's there and this the gentleman here just person. said, yeah, he works here and lives here lives here so okay yeah yeah eventually one of the other officers developed the common sense to actually try to figure out what happened once he got the full story he realized that officer smiley was indeed at fault and asked him to let atkinson go it was at this point that they cut off the audio because they didn't want further proof of their corruption but cops like officer smiley are all over the world in fact here's another one at burlington hi just checking out my employees. What's up? What's your name and badge number? Delgado. Delgado, you have a badge number? I don't. Okay. What's your name? Uh, I'm not going to give that. So what are you doing? Just checking on, checking on the uh, Burlington employees and seeing if you guys are doing a great job. Okay. Well, if you're keeping, for, yeah. Looking for the cars? Yeah, I want to make sure you're keeping the officer safe with like good tires. You said I need to? Yes, sir. You're actually trespassed unless you actually have something. You want, you want me to or I need to? It's hard. Do you have any business back here? This is only police personnel only. Yeah, you said I need to. So I was asking, do, do you want me to come talk to or do I have to? Am I being detained? Yes, sir. At this point, yes, sir. Okay, for suspicion of what crime? Okay, you're walking around taking pictures of police cars and so forth. You're, you're not, you don't have any business here. Is that illegal? Is that illegal? It's the only place to be police back here. And your name and badge number? This is a First Amendment auditor who runs a YouTube channel by the name Free Press NC. He was exercising his rights outside the Burlington Police Department when this happened. I don't have a badge number. Sergeant Marsh. Sergeant Marsh, okay. Yeah. Your name and badge number? Officer Hill. Awesome. And you guys don't have badge numbers at all? Okay, we're asking no. you why are you back here. So you said I'm detained. And I said suspicion of what crime? What are you doing back here? Suspicion of what crime? What's I'm your RAS? You What's your RAS? You said I'm detained. Okay. Do you have a reason to be It back is 3.44 when you detain me. Do you have a reason to be back here? What RAS? You need to leave. What RAS? You need to leave, sir. What crime have I committed? You need to leave. If you'd like to stand on the sidewalk and do He told me I have doing. to come here and I'm detained. No, I so didn't say that. I didn't say that. You said we need you to come here and you I'm said I'm detained. To talk to you. So I need to talk to you. Okay. If you want to go over there, take on the sidewalk and free, but you can I can do what I want. Thanks. If you would have approached me and tried to talk, I didn't treat her bad. You told me I was detained. No. It's a public. Sir, you can go on the sidewalk and take pictures. You have to you stay on the sidewalk. Here. Where's the sign that says it's authorized personnel only? There's actually a sign in here that says public parking right here. Yeah. Did, did you touch that vehicle? There's did you try to And they pull in, in here, correct? Did you try to go in that vehicle? What, what did you do? What did I do what? On that vehicle over there. On what vehicle? The one that you were at the passenger side door. So first off, the fact that he told me I was detained means that now I lose cordial interaction with you guys because now you're trying to find a crime. And I have the right to my fifth amendment, my first amendment, my fourth amendment. And because of how he acted, I was talking to you. I wouldn't give you my name, but I was talking to you, right? 
He escalated and said, I'm detained. So that's when I lower my expectations of your department. And that's on him, right? So I wasn't like this to you until he did that. You tell me I'm detained in a public parking lot with no signs, that's bull crap, back off. Sir, sir you need to understand. I don't need to do on. crap. You detained me for nothing. Sir, you need to leave the parking lot. I'm not going to, cause there's no, I'm walking to the freaking yeah, lobby. I seen you and I called my sergeant. And I was, and that's how, See, that's why I got but out. that's what you need to articulate. You didn't do that until now. He was telling me that I was suspicious cause I was filming around vehicles. If you suspect me of committing a crime, detain me and investigate. I mean, I don't know why, I don't need to teach you guys that, but he doesn't get to detain me cause I'm filming. I don't care how suspicious it looks. I, I'm not trespassing. You said I was trespassing. While two of the officers were quite professional, even though they had no reasonable suspicion, Sergeant Marsh was a complete mess. He kept making commands that weren't within his jurisdiction, and he wasn't even polite about it. It was no wonder when Lieutenant Beckner came on the scene, he immediately saw the need to remove him from the situation. Here's, here's our lieutenant. Fantastic. What's going on, man? Howdy. How are you? I am, I was doing pretty good. Okay. Tell him at the sergeant. These two folks are incredibly professional. Good enough. He hasn't escalated a single thing. She said she had razzed me breaking into a freaking car. She was very polite at first. Once he escalated, she jumped on the bandwagon. But generally, they've been good. Okay. He is a train wreck. <laughs> How you just treated me was a train wreck. I should say that. I don't know you, Sergeant Marsh, so I shouldn't have said that. I apologize. All right. I was walking around cars okay. because I'm trying to inspect the vehicles that are in city parking lots, paid for by the city, run by public officials, while I'm on the way to a public lobby through a public parking lot. I'll give you that. He just detained me on video. I said, you're telling me I have to? And he said, yes. And I said, so I'm being detained? He said, yes. I said, then I'm not talking. And he said, you're trespassing, you're detained, come back here. That is a violation of my rights, period. Now, what I was telling him, as long as this doesn't escalate further, probably a court doesn't care about a five minute detention, right? Okay, I mean, he yeah, didn't what's have- What's reasonable, what's not? Right, he you. doesn't have Raz, and he knew he didn't have Raz. He said his Raz was that I was filming. Well, you and I both freaking know you do not want that on camera, right? And so- Okay, so <laughs> moving forward, how, how can we do something for you here? You can, you allow can me to go by the the back lot. Thank you. Know you. What I mean? If you need paperwork, tell me what you need. We'll right. try to get it for you. They're gonna close pretty soon. Understood, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm good to go. Huh? I, I'm just here to quietly exercise my rights and not be impeded okay. and not be detained. We good? We're, we're power to you. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Take care. Sorry. The Lieutenant was polite and professional and was able to de-escalate the situation quickly without ignoring the law or jumping to conclusions. Sergeant Marsh could definitely learn a thing or two from him. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.